Hey guys, hi, so I'm in week five of Insanity and I am seeing awesome results. I just posted a picture on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, make sure you go check me out on Instagram, vbrown3709 and follow me. I um, post um, pictures of when we go out as a family, pictures of my uh, fitness results, etc. So go ahead and check that out. The link will be below. And I'm just gonna share with you basically the workout that I've been doing during week five, which is recovery week of the Insanity program. And it's core cardio and balance every single day for six days in a row. And then next week, starting Monday, I'm gonna be heading into month two of Insanity, which is a little bit longer, a little bit harder workouts than month one. I'm kind of excited to be doing it. And um, we'll see. I've so far been seeing good results. So let's go ahead and see uh, how I do today on my workout. My workout, I have two more days of week this week, which is recovery week, and then I start next week, which is technically the sixth week of Insanity, but they have it as week five, with the recovery week between weeks four and five. So, I'll be starting week five of Insanity. Oh, this fly has been bugging me. <laughs> I'll be starting week five of Insanity on Monday, and Monday I also have my fit test, and that's the day I'm going to be uh, updating all my measurements and weight and all the rest so stay tuned I will update you that next okay so I'm into week five of insanity and on Monday I did the insanity fit test as you can see my numbers some of them went down a little bit because I was pretty tired on Monday my switch kicks went down by 20 I was kind of disappointed in that I did go up in my power jacks though I went down in my power knees I was pretty disappointed in that too I, I went down by a lot my power jumps, I stayed close to where I was, and my globe jumps, suicide jumps, and push-up jacks all stayed the same since the last Insanity Fit Test, and I increased in my low plank oblique, so I'm okay with that. Hopefully in the next Fit Test I'll be a little more energized, and I won't be as sleepy, so that way I'll be able to see some more improvement. So now here you can see my measurements and my waist and belly measurement did go up a little bit. I'm not quite sure if I'm holding any water weight or anything like that, but that did go up slightly. My chest, thigh, and bicep measurements all stayed the same. And my hips measurement went down by a half an inch and my weight went down by four pounds. I was so happy about that. Uh, hopefully I uh, can lose five more pounds before the end of uh, the insanity program. Here you can see my most recent photo of my body. Um, I have the three side by side which is day one, day 15, and then day 34. My fit test was on day 36 but I took the picture a couple days early. So the last thing I want to share with you is uh, two new uh, iPhone apps that I found to assist me in my workouts. First is this one called Gym Packed. And what you do is, as you can see, you place a pact of how many days you want to work out in the following week and if you miss your workout, how much you're willing to stake or pay uh, per each, for each workout that you missed. So I'm willing to say if I miss my workout one day out of the six days, then I have to pay $10, yes, a real $10 out of my bank account. I'm doing it through PayPal for each day that I don't do my workout. But if you do all the days of your workout each week, you actually earn a little bit of money. So here you can see that out of my six days this week, I've actually already completed three out of the six, which was Monday, Tuesday, and today is Wednesday. So I still have the rest of this week and then I have Sunday off as a rest day. So, so long as I continue to do all my workouts, here where you see the amount earned, there should be a slight dollar amount uh, there. And as that progresses and I use this app a little longer, I will uh, update you on that and show you um, if I've earned anything or, and also if I've missed any workouts and have had to pay any money. But for me, this is a definite motivator because I do not want to pay anybody money for being lazy so I'm going to get my butt up make sure I don't lose my money and do my workout so that way 
I don't lose my money. For me, it's more about not losing the money, which is a motivator to work out instead of getting paid because I don't think you get paid very much with this app. So anyways, the next app that I wanted to share is this RunKeeper app, which works in sync with the Gym Pact. And I'm not using this yet, but the reason I wanted to use this is because where you see here where it says workout, if you click on that, now you see up on the top left it says training plans. If you go into there, you'll see a bunch of different training plans. The one that I'm interested in is the beginner 5K because in October I'm going to be running a 5K, my first ever. So here you see the beginner 5K preview and uh, the first day that you uh, run, you have to run a 1.5 mile run slash walk and then the next day you run uh, eight times one minute steady. If you click in there it'll tell you what to do. It's an interval workout where you run at a faster pace for 60 seconds followed by a recovery walk of 90 seconds and you do that rotation eight times. And then this sinks in with your gym pack so that way so long as you work out for 30 minutes or more that qualifies as your workout for gym pack and you get uh, paid for doing that workout that day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great week.